for its literary greatness. And what you just heard from the Russian ambassador showed more imagination than Tolstoy or Chekhov. A thief can steal property, but that does not confer the right of ownership on the thief. During our discussions today, some of my colleagues used excessive language, particularly the US ambassador, Ms. Power, who started by mentioning Tolstoy and Chekhov, but ended at the level of the tabloids. Such insults concerning Russia are absolutely unacceptable. That should be clear to Ms. Power. That's if the US delegation expects to cooperate with Russia in the Security Council on other issues in the future. Authorities in Crimea say Tuesday's shooting bears a strong resemblance to the sniper attack on Kiev's Independent Square in February, when both protesters and police were targeted. However, Iraq war veteran and defense expert Michael Preisner believes the US is ignoring that theory to intentionally add fuel to the flames. Right away uh, after this incident, you know, the US government uh, and the new uh, coup government in Ukraine uh, were absolutely certain that this was an attack uh, by the Russian military. You know, we have the United States and NATO uh, backing the most ultra-right and uh, neo-fascist elements of the Ukrainian ruling class, um, sponsor them into, into coming into power. Um, and, you know, there were diplomatic solutions that were being discussed. And, in fact, this comes uh, back to this issue of, of sniper fire. Um, you know, sniper fire escalating in the maiden protest, which now there's very compelling evidence uh, that it was done by the opposition, again, firing at both opposition protesters uh, and pro-government or police uh, to create the illusion of, of, of such chaos. Um, if we're looking at the role that the United States is playing, it's absolutely one uh, that from the beginning has stoked these flames, uh, and I think it will continue to do so. Russia's Federal Security Service says it's exposed an arms smuggling route from the EU via Ukraine to Russia's North Caucasus. Weapons were being moved by road, rail and even in the post. And Russian officials claim the arms were delivered to Ukraine without any oversight or legal monitoring. Well, the weapons apparently originated from a European Union member. Well, here's the footage we received from Russia's Federal Security Services. They claim a gang of smugglers was stopped in southern Russia. Around 40 firearms were hidden in the vehicles they were travelling in. We spoke to military experts from Serbia, which was once part of a nation torn apart by bloody civil war, and they say Ukraine becoming a zone of uncontrollable weapons traffic is an international threat. Various types of weapons were stolen from Ukrainian army and police storage in the country's west, near Lvov and Ivano-Frankovsk. This is very dangerous. Several dozen portable anti-aircraft systems have disappeared. These systems can destroy any passenger plane. Also, this weapon can end up in the hands of terrorists. It can be sold, and its price on the black market is very high. When any territory or any country has weapons that are not under the control of the state, and when there are people who are ready to use it, there is a great danger of that country entering an armed confrontation not excluding the possibility of a civil war. A bank robbery, a factory raid, and grand theft also. The security forces in Ukraine are failing to maintain control of the country. We look at how major crimes are going unpunished there. That, after the break.